Hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you about bet sizing. It's very important to know how to size your bets for the best results. A good technique is to always make your continuation bet the same size. This gives no bet sizing tell to your opponent, making it more difficult for them to make the correct play. Here's an example. You've raised pre-flop and one opponent calls. There's $100 in the pot and you bet $50 on the flop. This is a nice balanced bet. If you bet $100 into the same $100 pot, this may make your opponent think you are going for maximum value or you are bluffing. When you are experienced, this can be good for you, but starting out, this just makes you easier to read. Another example is in the same $100 pot, you continuation bet $10. This looks incredibly weak and it may influence your opponent to react differently. You want to make your continuation bets the same size every time, even when you are bluffing. This makes it hard for your opponents to discern whether you have a hand or you don't. You always want to give away as little information as possible. However, for experienced players, varying your bet sizing can be extremely profitable, but I'll save that for another time. A good rule is to pick a certain percentage of the pot for your continuation bet amount. If you choose 50%, you always continuation bet for 50%. I recommend anything between 50% and 80%. Experiment and see which percentage works best for you. Consider this though, the bigger, bigger your bets are, the more often your opponents will fold. On the turn and river, it is okay to vary your bet sizing a little. Just try to stay reasonably consistent and balanced, like I explained earlier. Try to stay within a certain range of percentages. Anything between 50% and 80% is fine. Try to save money when you are bluffing, but earn as much money as possible when you are value betting. Just don't be too obvious. That's it for this lesson. Please subscribe, like, and favorite for future reference. Feel free to comment anytime and I'll always be here to respond. Good luck guys and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to defend your big blind when the small blind raises. As mentioned in my last video, you want to play in position as much as possible. In the blinds, you are usually going to be playing out of position, but an exception to this is when you are in the big blind and your opponent is in the small blind. This is a heads up pot in which you are in position and in a great situation to make some money. It is important to note that since you've already posted your big blind, you are essentially getting a discount to call a raise. If you've learned some of the basics already and you want to play more hands, this is where you should start. I've already discussed in previous videos which hands you should be re-raising, so all you need to know now is which hands you should defend in this situation. I recommend defending pocket jacks down through pocket deuces, ace queen, ace jack, king queen, all suited hands from king queen suited to jack ten suited, and all ace x suited, meaning any suited ace other than ace-king suited, which you should re-raise. This gives you a decent defending range and prevents your opponents from stealing your big blind too easily. Playing these hands will also teach you more about how to play post-flop. A word of caution though, try to play fit or fold poker, meaning if you miss the flop and you are faced with a continuation bet, you should fold. If you catch a piece of the flop, you should usually continue. In coming videos, I will be teaching you how to play post-flop. That's it for this lesson. Please take a moment to like this video, favorite it for future reference, and subscribe for more free tips. Leave a comment and I'll be sure to reply. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always glad to help. Good luck guys, and I'll see you next time.